One day you can wake up with nothing. One day your family can be truly hurt. One day disaster could hit your door. That day will happen. Prepare, store food. Medical supply. Have an emergency plan. Get out of the coast. No fear. Be ready. Tomorrow can be late. The radiation and its effects on life forms. In physics, radiation describes a process in which energetic particles or waves travel through a medium or space. There are two distinct types of radiation, ionizing and non-ionizing. The word radiation is commonly used in reference to ionizing radiation only, that is, having sufficient energy to ionize an atom, but it may also refer to non-ionizing radiation, for example comma radio waves or visible light. The energy radiates, that is, travels outward in straight lines in all directions, from its source. This geometry naturally leads to a system of measurements and physical units that are equally applicable to all types of radiation. Both ionizing and non-ionizing radiation can be harmful to organisms and can result in changes to the natural environment. Radiation hormesis is the theory that low doses of radiation can be beneficial to organisms. Now, in physics, radiation describes a process in which energetic particles or waves travel through a medium or space. There are two distinct types of radiation, ionizing and non-ionizing. The word radiation is commonly used in reference to ionizing radiation only, that is, having sufficient energy to ionize an atom but it may also refer to non-ionizing radiation, for example comma radio waves or visible light. The energy radiates, that is, travels outward in straight lines in all directions, from its source. This geometry naturally leads to a system of measurements and physical units that are equally applicable to all types of radiation. Both ionizing and non-ionizing radiation can be harmful to organisms and can result in changes to the natural environment. Radiation hormesis is the theory that low doses of radiation can be beneficial to organisms. Now, radiation poisoning, radiation sickness or a creeping dose is a form of damage to organ tissue caused by excessive exposure to ionizing radiation. The term is generally used to refer to acute problems caused by a large dosage of radiation in a short period, though this also has occurred with long-term exposure. The clinical name for radiation sickness is Acute Radiation Syndrome, ARS, as described by the CDC. A chronic radiation syndrome does exist but is very uncommon. This has been observed among workers in early radium source production sites and in the early days of the Soviet nuclear program. A short exposure can result in acute radiation syndrome. Chronic radiation syndrome requires a prolonged high level of exposure. Radiation exposure can also increase the probability of developing some other diseases, mainly cancer, tumors, and genetic damage. These are referred to as the stochastic effects of radiation, and are not included in the term radiation sickness. The use of radium euclids in science and industry is strictly regulated in most countries. In the event of an accidental or deliberate release of radioactive material, either evacuation or sheltering in place are the recommended measures. The situation ongoing in Japan with the reactor melting down, is very serious, and we should continue following this story. Because if these things blow out, China, Asia, Europe and United States will be affected. Report for WHD-TV